What's up, everybody? It's your boy Corey, aka GQ Saint, back from another reaction video. It's gonna be another video for an MMA montage king. I did I'll react to another one. The worst MMA fights. I'm pretty sure most likely I'll drop these videos tomorrow. And tomorrow I'm also gonna react to you know a coming death battle fight between Bad Girl and Spider Gwen. I haven't chose a side. I'm just gonna kick back and remain neutral in that fight. Cause I like both of them. Just saying. I don't know who's gonna win. Anyway, this totally different video is going to react to it. It's had a worst game plans in MMA, such as uh, I believe when you set up your own strategy, but it's not a good strategy. Anyway, I'm kind of curious who they're going to have on this list. So, and how their gameplay, I mean, their game plans were, were trash. Anyway, you already know the deal. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you react to. Let's go ahead and get it. Perfect game plan can be the difference between winning and losing. This is a list yeah, of fighters can. who either came into the fight with no game plan at all or abandoned it once the fight began. These are some of the worst game plans in MMA. George Gurgel is a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, a six time Brazilian state champion, and North mm, American okay. Grappling Association super fight champion. So, what does he do with all this grappling experience? Get into wild slugfests, of course. I mean, if you watch a George Gurgel fight, you would never know that this guy is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> George Gurgel was a contestant on the Ultimate Fighter reality show, but was quickly eliminated after largely ignoring his ground skills during his fight with Jason Von Flew. Oh, hey. Gurgel started his MMA career in 2002 You're and finished his first Jiu -Jitsu. nine wins via Don't submission. You. But immediately upon signing with the UFC, he decided he wanted to be a kickboxer instead. George Gurgel is a, a top-notch Brazilian kickboxer black belt who never uses the jiu-jitsu skills. Gurgel went 3-4 during sense. his UFC run, with all three wins coming in the form of a decision. For a guy who loves jiu-jitsu, it's a little frustrating to watch him become a kickboxer. Gurgel last it's fought in strange. 2014, oh, and in 24 professional MMA fights, he never once finished a fight via KO. But hmm. that never stopped him from thinking he could. Am I powerful? Tell me I'm dangerous. Tell me I'm powerful. Tell me. BJ Penn confused everyone, possibly even himself, with his game plan against Frankie Edgar at the Ultimate Fighter finale when he completely changed his usual fighting style and replaced it with a strange upright stance. And BJ Penn, Kenny, very upright here to begin things. He's trying to do like upright. a more tight stance. Level change from Frankie Edgar. BJ's erect stance made it easy for the quicker Edgar to score takedowns and strikes almost at will. And when Edgar needs to go to the takedown or wants to, it seems to be there with relative ease. And again, because he is upright. Fans were baffled by BJ's erection and questioned his trainers and game plan following the fight. You know, I'm trying to make yeah, sense out of the approach what, of what BJ were they Penn. Thinking? Even Penn's longtime friend and coach made sure to clear his name, stating, I would never in a million years develop that new style. It seemed to be a change in styles from BJ Penn, but it was not an effective one, unfortunately for him. After losing the fight, Penn retired but came back and has lost four more fights in a row. Five if you count his street fight against a bouncer. Oh yeah, I didn't see Bill, but I heard about that. Yeah. Penn hasn't officially announced his next fight, but is currently seeking a rematch against the bouncer at the local Dave & Buster's. Some fighters yeah, take a methodical White approach to fight. Him, uh, Some fighters fight take a more grappling every game, game plan. But sometimes a fighter goes in with no game plan at all. This is what happened at Pride 28 when James the Colossus Thompson took on Alexander Emelianenko. Thompson, yeah, Fedor, a strong but inexperienced brother. fighter, threw I think any young, semblance I think that's of a game younger plan brother. out the I know window brother, and I know blindly older, bull rushed his opponent. He flung his body <laughs> against Emelianenko, briefly bowling him over. Unfortunately, as soon as Alexander stood up, Thompson was almost immediately knocked out in just 11 seconds. Thompson, who prepared for the fight by watching training tapes, watching kung fu movies, renting Fight Club, Are you and practicing looking scary in the mirror, sealed his legacy as a meme with his performance against Emelianenko. 
Emelianenko, on the other hand, who looked as calm as a man waiting in line That's at his local bank, does. He just simply looked simply calm. countered Thompson's game plan with a few That's punches to Mingo, his big, be too scary angry, looking head. Be too afraid, you're just calm. Unfortunately, all the scary looks didn't do much to help him win the fight. Thompson even had to take to YouTube and explain his thought process and his side of the story after fans were so perplexed at his over-the-top approach to the fight. This had over 4 million views and this is my explanation of that video. I was looking tough and it went wrong. Thompson has since retired. And his opponent, Alexander Emelianenko, is currently yeah, auditioning for the role of Skull too. in the next Lord of the Rings movie. Yeah, I think him and Fedor are not, still not on good terms right now. Andy Wang was a competitor on season five of The Ultimate Fighter and was made infamous for his horrible game planning. Well, not so much the game plan, but sticking to the game plan. So you know what you say? No matter what. Wang is a black belt in jujitsu. So his best chance to win was to take his opponent down. His coach, BJ yeah. Penn, agreed taking his opponent down would be his best bet to win the fight. Okay. Right, wait, if we tell you take you take him down. Honestly, are you gonna take yeah. him down? Okay. Just... Sorry, coach, I'm gonna listen. Sorry, coach, I'm gonna listen. So what does Wang do instead? I didn't watch this. Stand and bang, of course. Or as it's been coined now, stand and wang. <laughs> Telling you this stuff for a reason. Sorry, coach, I'm listening. During his one and only fight on the show, Penn urged Wang to go for a takedown dozens of times. Andy, you ain't trained to understand the game. I was born. Wang opted not to listen to his coach and teammates and stood and traded punches instead. BJ is screaming, hmm. screaming from the corner to take him down, but the kid will not. Listen to Dana White. and will not take this guy down. Wang was outstruck for two rounds and lost the fight, angering Penn and baffling his teammates. I'm so disgusted. Yeah, I'll be mad. Really that was my teammate again. too. I'll be mad. After the I don't fight, know if I even talked to you for the season. <laughs> I mean, but Penn didn't I can't say anything is sorry for you, man. <gasps> I was being out of my head. Wang claimed he would redeem himself and was for some reason granted another fight on the Ultimate Fighter finale prelims. Hmm. I think he's going to be in for a rude awakening if he's, you know, sat there and told himself that he's going to be walking away with his hand raised because he's just going to be the one getting dinked on. Clear advantage we got the fight to the ground. Oh, oh, big kick kick oh. goes Wang. Wang was dinked on about a minute into the fight, losing yet again. Andy touted his high IQ before joining the cast. Uh, I like think my IQ is pretty up there. Like but Wang proves there's a difference in regular IQ and fight IQ. Sorry, y'all. Oh, All anybody ever yeah, asked this, of Wang this was guy. to get a single takedown. Take down! Listen to his team. Doesn't want to listen to a word anybody says. And wipe that gross white stuff off the corner of his mouth. That's something on the side of your mouth, Al. After weeks of scouring the internet, this rare video was found of Andy Wang finally getting a takedown. <laughs> okay. Honorable mentions. Brian Caraway's corner advised Deep him to coast somewhere. and okay. not do anything for the last round of his fight against Mizugaki. Okay, oh they can coast this round. You're, you're up two rounds to zero. Leaving the fight in the hands of the judges is usually a bad idea. Yeah. Sometimes okay. judges don't they make the, the best decisions. Wrestling champion Sean Shirk decided to abandon his wrestling game plan and become a kickboxer instead during his fight with BJ Penn. So far, Mike, this is basically a boxing match between these two guys. Success was not found. It is Ooh. all over! After gaining full mount on Chris Cyborg, Gina Carano decided her best bet was to stand up and trade punches instead. That didn't go so well. Yeah, I saw this. She knew. While this game plan state. was never used in a fight, it's still one of the worst. Yeah, that game was the last MMA suggested. fight before she uh, just got more ball at them, which she's down to it, so like on one knee. I know she's in the Mandalorian. Said, um, I need to go know, back and watch. To, I've been slacking off on you know, Mandalorian season two. I need to get back knee. on it. Guarantee this, you will not see me. the first episode. I need to get back and watch the rest of it. I know Rosario Dawson is a Ahsoka. I see the picture over here. Oh, Thanks like for watching. Dawson. Be sure to subscribe one of my and check out the Patreon link in the description if you want to help support the channel. Rest and fight. Yeah, they kind of made sense. They show one of the worst game plans, like the strategies, like 
especially takedowns that what are you thinking man you just clearly just i believe whoever you you train under you literally just waste your time you just do whatever you want just act a while that's that's ridiculous to me anyway let me know what you think in the comments below how you feel what you think should have been in this video just just let me know anyway make sure you give a like comment and subscribe have a nice day peace